has an opportunity to win a $50 Amazon gift card. Um, as Mustache said earlier, Christmas is coming up, so make sure you get your votes in. You have a little less than a minute left. I'm a minute, actually 40 seconds now as we speak. And uh, yes, you have to predict the right winner. You can't just, just because you're predicting doesn't mean that you're entered in. You have to predict the winner of the series. And if they, if that player wins, then you get tossed in that raffle that you saw at the end of the first series. So we've already seen one. It was Kachow who won earlier. I'm sure they, if they wanted to, I'm sure they could enter again. I don't think there's any rules or regulations. Uh, you could li literally win them all and, and get $150 after all three series. But you got to put that prediction in and guess correctly. 74% of you still sitting, actually 75% of you now sitting with Mittens, 25 sitting with Derek. So, man, this is definitely looking like a one-sided affair, a little bit more so than the Tryon and uh, Hungry fashion. But... Volts, while the uh, now prediction is over and it is locked in at 75-25, we have to see how this, this matchup's gonna play out. So the players are gonna take their positions. Again, we will take our positions and uh, I'm excited. I am excited for this matchup. The, the games keep getting better and better as they go along. So this one should definitely be to the same extent. This is gonna be a fantastic matchup. Two big names in the Rocket League community, both of them ready to battle it out here. And here we go in game number one. And Derek off to a fast start. Oh. He just can't quite tap it in. The demo coming out. Hinton's coming with a great hit and the just bait. The slow play works. Mittens has all the time in the world to look where they want to put it and puts it off to the left-hand side, gets it around Derek. First goal in, Mittens on the board. That is a great swing there for Mittens. Cleans up the defensive end with the demo, comes right back down, drops it off the hood, and just punches it to the left. I love that move in ones. Mittens firing on all cylinders here early, but Derek's got the read and earned himself an open net. It's one to one. <laughs> Did it, all right. If anybody has noticed, we are all sitting here in bow ties. Even Top Gun, she's got a tuxedo shirt on. But I love Derek coming out with the tuxedo decal for the Octane. <laughs> I, if I would have known that, that alone would have gotten my vote. Derek, I did vote against you, but so far the series, or I'm sorry, the game is tied up. We are in game number one, but Mittens coming off of that corner, almost putting that one in, crossbar down, but we've seen what will happen if the mechanics aren't on point and Derek gets the counterattack. Such a fine line in ones between going for mechanics versus choosing maybe to be a little bit more reserved. It's, a, it's such a difficult balance because again, if you're confident in your mechanics, you know that you can execute them and score goals. The problem is that risk reward factor and right there, risk was a little bit too great and the reward never came through. But can Derek be rewarded on this one? No, not able to get it around Mittens. Mittens, great control, gets the catch on top of the car, gets the pop over. Derek does get the hit, nothing left in the tank for any type of challenge. And Mittens gonna take that corner boost. Did Derek elect to go for the few pads around the goal? He does and gets it out with just the nick of time. Mittens is gonna try yet again, but sitting at 12, gets the flick over, not able to get around it. So resetting on the corner boost. I'm going to try one more effort to see if they can't put this in the back. Mittens is beyond confident is in his mechanics, but you can tell Derek plays ones as you talk about. He, he knows how much time he has. He knows when he needs to go pick up those three or four pads in front of net. And this is going to be a fantastic matchup if it plays how this first minute and a half has so far. Mittens hasn't spent too much of the time on the defensive end. Still trails by one. Save credited to Derek there. Mittens on ball, takes a good 50. Has the boost to recover, looking for a doomsday attempt here. Derek wants to see none of it, but he's boost starved heavily. Tap it in. Mittens taps it in. So uh, I'm kind of looking over chat. Someone in chat just said, Derek once played ones for over 12 hours straight. Well, I hope that 12 hours sets in here because there was only, uh, you know, 25% of you voted for him or predicted for him. I shouldn't say vote for him. You predicted with him that he will win. 
Uh, so far, Mittens getting that tying goal. Three minutes left in regulation. Has the control, has the possession. Trying to get it around Derek. Not able to do so as we're stuck in the midfield. But so far, it's... I do like the challenges coming out from Mittens. Able to really slow down the pace, control the game, and just bait out Derek. Derek's just kind of stuck on that backboard, not really able to do much as Mittens slowly encroaches in, gets the, uh, gets the lead there. But we all know how ones is. Just as we approach the halfway point, there's plenty of time for Derek to get an equalizer. Yeah, plenty of time here. Two, still 2.43 left on the clock. Mustache, I feel like... I feel like we kind of need to fact check that he played ones for 12 hours straight because I feel like most people we'd have to ask if they're all right. Ones is a grueling, <laughs> grueling mental battle, and I, I personally could not spend 12 hours. I spent about 30 minutes. Oh, and what? things like that only make the experience worse. That, okay, so you're talking about playing ones for 12 hours. Uh, okay, I play ones for about 10 minutes two games in and stuff like that happens and i'm throwing my controller halfway across the room like he, oh, yeah. he gets a valiant touch it drops down but still the momentum of the ball uh, you know propels it into the net there's nothing more he could do unfortunate for him but plenty of time is the name of the game here in rock league but mittens keeps it going and Derek almost not able, I thought that was actually gonna fall on the goal line and be one of those instances where you see the the uh, server prediction not on your side and get credited with the goal when you didn't think it was gonna fall past the goal line. But Mittens will just keep the possession. He will hold on to it for as long as they can. And that is definitely what has been uh, helping them out so far in this game one. Derek gonna try and put a shot on, but Mittens getting a yet another demo. Mittens really frustrating him on the offensive end with the demos there. Derek returns the favor. It's a good thing he did as he was beat there. Derek will pick this one up in front of his own goal line. 50 boost to work with. Flick it out over Mittens, but Mittens with a great catch. Missed it on the wall. Derek can sneak it behind him. Mittens able to slow down just enough to get the touch here. Now back towards that orange end we go. Mittens just can't quite get it past. Derek's defense has been stellar thus far. He definitely has. I'm looking at it. He does, or Derek has eight saves for himself. One save for Mittens. Mittens just been all on the offense. And right there is how it has been. Under 60 seconds left. We got a three goal lead for Mittens. Three goal lead. Derek got a little over aggressive there. Just challenged little errantly mittens takes advantage of that one but 58 seconds left in this game number one plenty of time to turn it around for Derek also time for mittens to increase that lead old challenge there because Derek was the one that found mid mittens will steal corner looking to challenge Derek bumps him off Derek snuck it past just doesn't have the boost and that is the most unfriendly bounce you could ask for yeah, He's going to be was... able to tap it out to the side just for now, but Mustache, that's just a rough break. That was unfortunate. Mittens in the air, not going to be able to touch that. That's even worse, but able to come down on the ball. And I thought the recovery wasn't going to be there. Missed the touch off the backboard, but then later falls down on it to at least hold on to possession. And all of that develops into almost a goal. Derek shuts it down and going to be able to get the counter needed. Puts the lead to two. And Derek slowly encroaching in, but eight seconds. You get two crazy touches off kickoffs and, and, you know, get a goal past them, and it's possible, but I'm not sure if there's enough time. Derek's needs something quick. Derek's got to find one goal and leave at least one second on the clock, and then you probably oh, need a... What a oh, fake. that's That's how you do it. It's a fake. Just get it in faster. There you go. He's going to have four seconds. What a kickoff. So he just scored this in four seconds. Obviously, that means he can do it again. But of course, Mittens is going to expect some kind of crazy fake kickoff because he doesn't want that goal to go in. So four seconds left. Can we see it tied up? Can we see the first overtime needed? Derek's got to quickly get over to the ball, able to pick up the boost. Right there, falls in front, but Derek can't connect. Mittens drops it down and takes game one. That was a very bold touch there by Mittens. He actually centered it for Derek there. He's very fortunate he was speedy enough to get to that. 
15 shots out of Mittens, nine saves out of Derek there. 15 shots, one save. Mittens had one save. Unbelievable, just controlling all of the offense. But Derek getting close. I mean, it ha had he had another, what, 15 seconds on the clock? This could have been uh, maybe our f first overtime, but we still haven't had one quite yet. More points win, right? That's what Derek is saying to all of us. But hey, there is plenty more Rocket League to go. Remember, this is a best of three series. We are still in the best of threes. So Mittens one game away from taking this series or Derek going to try and turn the tide and see if he can tie the series. Plenty of positive takeaways for Derek in that game. He's going to want to look to turn around some of the over aggressiveness. Really, if he had taken out some of the instances where he maybe dived in a little bit too aggressive, he actually probably could have come out with a win in that game. But we're back down to the pitch for game number two. Mittens going to definitely go for a mechanic here to start us off up. Flip reset into the back of the net. Love to see it from Mittens. Eight seconds in, he's picking up right where he left off. We were talking about mechanics last game. Are they the right thing to go for? But that one, perfect. That flip reset really kind of gave Mittens plenty of options, whether to just let it drop, go for the actual flip. Mittens actually going for similar kickoff to what Hungry was doing in our previous series. But unfortunately, it doesn't quite, quite work out. And Derek is going to come out with the tying goal. Yeah, it's that delayed kickoff attempt. You really just have to make sure that your spacing between the ball and where you stop your car is perfect because if you're too close, it's going to pop straight up. If you're too far away, it's rolling over you, which is what we just saw there. So a smart kickoff strategy, just have to make sure your positioning with it is stellar. Position right now. Mittens getting that past Derek, almost getting demoed or at least bumped away, but able to get past Derek was able to at least get some control of the ball. Mittens just kind of shadowing, being that nuisance out there on the pitch. Comes off the ceiling, gets great control. Another midfield boost, keeps it going. Derek's stuck in the corner. This one drops, but Derek comes right from below and able to get the save. Can he get the goal? He does and takes the lead. Swings like that and ones are huge. He earned the defensive save. It's a tough pinch out. Derek will take the tap in there. So rather than being down two to one, he's up two to one in a must win game to force us to game three. Yes, you definitely want to take this game. If you are Derek, you've got to tie up this series to give, your, give yourself a chance at some money. Just a little bit of tidbit, the, the, these players, the winner, I believe, will take $340. Loser will take $260. So no matter what happens, you come out with some cash. But of course, you want to come out with the win to get a little bit more of that prize pool that we have throughout the night. And of course, Derek and the fans in chat, 25% of you predicted him to win. If Derek is able to get the series tied up and then later win the series, you have a pretty good odds at getting a chance at that gift card, but Mittens is going to shut it down and at least get us all tied up here in game two. A great hang by Mittens. He was low boost. He burned everything he had to get that one out. Derek had all the pressure there. Going to be kicking himself for that one as he would have loved to go up three to one. Like you said, Mustache, a lot on the line for these guys, as well as everyone here. Well, friends, very popular in the Rocket League scene are all of our contestants, great players, great people. So everyone knows each other. So along with that prize pool, this Mittens just puts it over. You get a little bit of bragging rights over some people. Oh, I'm sure these players are definitely bragging to each other off of wins and stuff like that. Or even some of these clippable plays that we're seeing throughout here as Mittens trying to go for yet another fantastic mechanical play. But Derek stealing it away says, do all your mechanics that you want. But it's off the crossbar. Athena would be proud, as we all like to say. But Derek will get the cleanup and get the go ahead. Great job by Derek here. He scared me when he jumped so early. I was very impressed that he had the read. Me, myself, personally, would have definitely waited to see where that bounce was going there. But either way, he'll take that 3-2 to two lead. We still have over half of this game number two to play. I'm 
Sure, Mitten's unconcerned, unwavered. Despite being down one, he's up for yet another mechanic. Flippery set off the air dribble. He fakes it under Derek. And just like that, it's three to three. And that's why those flip resets are so dangerous. We talked about it before. When you when you get it, the, the opponent has to challenge and almost challenge early. But because you have all the control, you can say, all right, do I actually get the flip reset? Do I act like it? Do I fake it? Do I just let it drop, fall with the ball? There's so many different chances, so many different opportunities that you can use. And that's why pros and, and amateur players and everybody of, of all different ranks try to practice those because they're so pivotal uh, in your wheelhouse to, to make key plays needed to get the goals. But we are all tied up. Two minutes left in this game and Mittens on his break trying to get this past Derek but keeping him over on his own half. Mittens faking that challenge, doesn't have the boost, goes off of the backboard. Derek should be able to put this one in. With a little help with from Mittens, it actually does. Great placement here from Derek. Ooh, Mittens tried to pre-jump him there. Thought he was going to go for a hook shot. Mittens still recovered. I think he had to get a touch to that. It was in either way. But bold, bold move there from Mittens to pre-jump what he thought was an attempted hook shot. It cost him the lead and a goal. Now down four to three, and Derek is all over him, taking corner boost. Mittens has a whopping zero. He'll try to grab what pads he can. He was able to get two. Won't help him. Derek's flick off the crossbar. We'll have another look here. Mittens in front. Taps this one away as well. Let's see if he can do it a third time. Finally clears it off his line there. A great defensive stand for Mittens. Yes, to have no boost and still be able to hold down Derek, who's just picking up every boost pad, whether it be large, small, or in between. But all of that, Derek just goes all the way back to his own half, resets, recovers, regains, and just gets this nice dribble and puts it on that far side. Mittens, not much they could do with it. He just had to race off of that backboard and just good placement from Derek. Yeah, the one place Mittens could not get to was that bottom right corner. That's where Derek put it. Mittens tried to respond off kickoff. Couldn't quite sneak it past, but he did get corner here. Confidence in the mechanics. There's the flip reset. Wanted the flip reset. A little doomsy flip reset attempt. Didn't quite go, but he still got oh. the pressure. And a beautiful 50 will earn him the goal. That challenge works out perfect. And it was Derek who was expecting a little bit harder hit, so he kind of pre-jumps it. But that roll, Mittens hitting it at the perfect time to just get it off the wheels of Derek. And within one, Mittens is a minute, uh, we should say 67 seconds left on the clock. Derek still has the lead, though. Mittens has the series lead. Remember, this is a best of three. And Derek's going to increase that lead by one more. 58 left on the clock. Derek looking pretty good to tie the series up. Mittens has been very bold with these pre-jumps. He knew he was off. As soon as he saw Derek get up, he tried to get back down to the ground. But Derek not going to miss those. Put it on frame. Put it in. And we get to see the awesome goal explosion that he's rocking for a sixth time. Mittens, great kickoff right there, but wasn't able to control it. Oh, get, it was a double, Ooh. double flip reset. And with, Mittens throwing up the what a save. Derek says, hey, now I'm just going to wait for you to make your play. I'm going to get the counterattack and increase that lead. 40 seconds left. But hey, <laughs> so Mittens throwing up the I'm mad about that too. And rightfully so. It was a fantastic mechanical play, but not able to put it in the back of the net. And Derek says, hey, I'm not letting you win this one. We need to tie up this series so that way I can have a better chance at trying to take the series after game three. Mittens, I thought originally was going for a triple flippery set, which would have been actually insane. Derek now off of the failed mechanic last time around, wanted to net two. Couldn't quite get that one in. Beautiful bump of Mittens, but Mittens with all the boost will recover. 18 seconds, this one will head in the back of the net. 15 seconds left on the clock and only a two goal deficit. There's plenty of time, 15 seconds. If he can have an, uh, an, a similar goal to what Derek did in game number one, where that fake kickoff really worked out, I think Mittens has an opportunity. 
Does come out with the advantage. Gets the midfield boost. Quickly turns. Tries to put the shot on. Derek is going to be able to get the recovery and get the save. Seven seconds as the ball rolls over to Mitten's half. This one does look like it is going to be in Derek's favor. Mitten's coming off the ceiling. I'm just going to go ahead and put one more in for good measure. He says, look, I'm not going to be able to do much more. You've got this game. Let's just move on to game three. So we are tied up and getting yet another third game out of a series. Another game three. Exactly what we want to see here. Because these matchups have been so, so even. Two great players every time that we step out on the field here at the URLC. And that one, this time switching up the script a little bit, going in favor of Derek, eight to five. Oh, players only separated by one shot and one save apiece by Stash. Mittens coming out with three saves, though. Derek coming out with more of the saves this time. And he had more saves in game number one as well. Mittens, I remember, only had one save in that particular matchup. But he had all the offense. So Mittens kind of getting pushed back a little bit more off or a little bit more in this game than game number one. I think this game three will be a thrilling matchup to say the least, just because I feel like both players are finally warmed up enough to really put on a show for all of us. Yeah, these players looking like they are really at peak performance now. And I'm excited to see what they've got in store for game number three. I'm super excited for this matchup here. I don't, I know I went with Derek and it's weird to say this, that Mittens lost game two, but I really feel like he's, he's about to rebound solid here in game three. It, it kind of pull off the same thing that Tryon did in game exactly. three of his matchup. It's just going to be, we, we've seen two pretty even matchups out of game one and two. And then all of a sudden, I don't know. Personally, I don't know. I, uh, of course, I predicted Mittens, but Derek could easily do the exact same thing. Might be able to come out with the kickoff goal, not able to as Mittens getting a great challenge. But yes, easily one of them could just turn this completely around. A couple hits off the crossbar aren't going to be what you want if you want to get that first goal. Mittens has the control, goes for the air bump, not able to connect with Derek, though and steals the corner boost. A couple bumps and nudges from Derek to just make sure he can kind of take it away. Derek sitting with nothing in the tank, gets it at least over to the sidewall, and Mittens is going to have to retreat and regain. Huge force there by Derek by making Mittens go all the way back. All that work, though, to be able to leak out and grab some boost. He gets a little over aggressive once again, and Mittens just pops it over him and walks it in. So this is the second time I have seen one of these players kind of stutter step, you know, try to make a few opportunities on the net and then elect, you know what, I'm just going to go all the way back and then try an effort yet again. D uh, Derek did it, I believe, in game one and Mittens did it here. I mean, you just you start to notice that, hey, I've tried to make one or two different attempts on net i'm not getting past this defender let me go all the way back draw the defender out and see if i can't sneak it by and it was mittens to do so and get that first goal mittens getting a great save there as derek tried to do much with it mittens trying to take derek out derek though has the boost has the recovery and has the goal great job defending here from Derek. Mittens frustrated on the fact that he just cannot bump Derek to save his life. He's gone for that air dribble bump or the air dribble demo, if you want to refer to it as one of the most hard, one of the most undefensible plays in Rocket League because there is nothing you can do unless you're Derek, when apparently you just you're just invincible. They're just trying to bump each other. You, we've been talking about how the bumps and demos and, and nudges help out especially in ones of course it helps out in all game modes of rocket league but ones it's so crucial mitten's gonna try and do so yet again maybe actually getting that little power slide and getting the control derek's getting this at least to midfield mitten's electing for the midfield boost trying to get this past derek and there you go every time mitten's goes back he retreats he's able to just get it past Derek maybe Derek thinking he has a lot more time and a lot more space and not able to get this past Mittens challenge so Mittens thrown in the back and takes that lead huge regain for Mittens it's almost like he needs that kind of mental reset to walk it back down to his own end and really just take a breath reset and then get started from the back really loving 
the changes he's made here from game two to three. Still only a two to one score line. Two minutes gone by here as this one clanks off that left post. Derek needs to at least find a bump or get it out. Effectively chasing Mittens, who never even saw him below. Mittens landed on him, able to barely recover in time. The bumps and demos and any kind of way to mess with your opponent really coming out now. Those forced Goomba stomps are, are interesting because typically you, you see players kind of fall on you purposefully, making sure that you don't get the attempt at, uh, at an aerial. But when you kind of force and kind of come underneath a player like that, you can really get them off kilter, not able to get control. But Mittens, great control here, puts it off to the side and now has a two goal lead. Mittens is so impressive with his first touch. He's able to settle almost any ball and he really came off ceiling, turned that into an air dribble, still had his flip and uses it to shoot it into the back of the net. That is so impressive. And here off the oh. ceiling, ooh, just barely denied by Derek. What a save. Derek doesn't have the boost and mid didn't spawn. He got a great 50 and Mitten shuts the door once again. This has been such an impressive display from Mittens and Derek hanging on still well in this contest. Boost management is the key here. Both players, whenever they have any type of chance and what great control in the air mittens is almost unstoppable and i know they he keeps trying to go for the bumps on derek but rather than that just hold on to the possession as long as you can and drop it in great top shelf shot three goal lead a minute 51 on the clock and mittens trying to take this series I wish chat could see my reaction to what just happened because I think my mouth was wide open. I was just letting you talk as Derek gets a kickoff goal back. Mustache, that might be the goal of the night from Mittens. That was the one of the most impressive shots I think I've seen of ones in a very long time. Yeah, I mean, he came off that corner. Don't get me wrong, Derek uh, getting this goal right here, but coming off the corner like that and able to just drop it down was perfect. But that two goal lead now as Derek did get one just a little bit ago, Mittens. A little power slide in the corner, trying to get whatever sort of touch or boost steal or anything, just kind of being that nuisance. A lot of, a lot of ones Rocket League is just being that bully, that nuisance, that, that annoying player out there on the pitch. Mittens faking this one, gonna get that little bump and a great play, three goal lead back for Mittens, looking pretty good as we start to approach his final seconds. It's so hard to defend a player like Mittens because he earns your respect for those fakes there. That one was absolutely nasty, but he's shown he can do it in the air. He's shown he has the control on the ground. So when he goes and aims like he's about to hit you with a 45 degree flip, you don't have a choice. You have to try to stop it. And little do you know, he's just faking you out. It's so difficult to defend, but Mittens is a true display of a ones player. Oh, and they were talking to each other in the quick chat with uh, bumps and demos. They were talking about how neither of them felt like they've been able to collide with each other. Derek, that collision opens up the net, able to put it in the back. To, to be honest with you, both players have two demos apiece throughout this series. So they've definitely been able to collide. And I feel like every time they've been able to get that collision, they've been able to get a goal because of it. Yeah, it's really been especially beneficial for Derek here, who's having a little bit more trouble scoring on the offensive end as he trails, but that's a great 50 that lands right in the box of Mittens. He's able to tap it in, but Derek's used them very effectively there. I love that 50. And just like that, it's only a one goal lead for Mittens. One goal lead is all we have right here with 45 seconds left, Derek. Uh, you know, I would love, uh, it's almost be fitting to have this game go to overtime just because these two players have played phenomenally so far. Of course, Mittens doesn't want to do so, and I'm sure Derek doesn't want to either. Mittens going for that textbook back to the zone corner to get boost, regain, recover, doing whatever he can. And, and I like oh, how just he just, wasted. yeah, he just tries to hold on. Well, that's true too. Kind of think of it like American football, but he keeps baiting out Derek 
and it works. He gets the go-ahead goal, but you're right that the time wasting is working out perfect. Yeah, and it, it leaves Derek in such a poor spot because he can't afford to just watch Mittens air dribble from one corner to the other because eventually time will run out and he was still down by one. And as soon as he steps up to change the score line, Mittens just plays it around him. Off the ceiling he goes, tries to drop down on the ball, Derek with a great challenge. This, if this falls in, no, it does not. And he's just gonna stop dead in his tracks. Mittens will take the game. Mittens will take the series in what a thrilling fashion. Absolutely loved that series. It lived up to the expectations of series number one. It went in favor of Mittens in three did series number two. But two to everybody that played, I love that. So Mittens. Congratulations to you. You come out on top. There were 75% of you as well as, again, me and Top Gun Volts needing that prediction. Guys, I'm, I'm just saying. The mustache. It's I, I, You guys think I'm joking about this. But about to start 70, calling it the magic mustache. 75% of you predicted, like me and Top Gun, all of us hoping that we can you know win that Amazon gift card in the prediction tally. But... Guys, what a thrilling matchup. But I do want to say a big GG's out to Derek as well. You played a phenomenal game, but Mittens was your winner of this best of three. Yeah, Mittens' mechanics really just became too much to handle for Derek. We talk about mustache. I feel like we're beating a horse step. We talk about the risk reward versus going for those mechanics. But when you're as clean with them as you are as Mittens is, it's worth going for. Of course. But because of that, I believe... We need to send it over to Top Gun because I'm sure these 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 fans in chat, there was a, a slew of you. You all want to see who's going to win this giveaway. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just, you know, hey, I, at the end of the day, I was cheering on Mittens. It was a close call, but he did catch the dub. So for those of you that did vote for Mittens, you do have this opportunity to win a $50 Amazon gift card. So let's go ahead and get that going so we can find out the prize winner. Here is Synamic D's prize winner.